Okay, right now, number one says create a new database, name it Access Chapter 1 Tables, and save it in your Access Chapter 1 folder. If you've created an Access Chapter 1 folder. I'm going to go ahead and open up Access right now. Do that right now. Y'all, if you want to know how to do this, you might want to do this with me. Now, you're going to create a blank desktop database. I'm going to click on that. Of course, mine's going to take forever to work. My computer has not been functioning in very good sense. I don't really see a whole lot of these things. What is wrong? What I'm doing right now? No, this is what this is the assignment that's on my website. One A and one B are supposed to have been done before spring break. I can give the name Access Chapter One Tables. What's the next field supposed to be? First name. 
What's the data type? I'm going to leave it as short text. Yeah. What's the next one supposed to be? A. Right? Now, what's the data, data type need to be for A? That's a trick question. Does it have to be a number? Not necessarily, no. You can leave it as short text. You can type numbers into a short text field. You want to make a number, go right ahead. I'm just going to leave it short text. I'm going to use short text for all of them. Next one's going to be gray. Get tab, and we'll go down there. And then what's the next one? Percent gray? For those of you that don't get this, I am recording this. And then the last one's what, letter grade? Okay, that one's short text again. Now, is there other things you could do to this? You could do to it. Are there other things you could do to it? Like, you could go here, and on your letter grade, you could change the field size from 255 to what, 1. You could do that right. But you don't necessarily have to do that to you. Okay? I'm going to save that. Uh, what does the direction say to do next after I've created all my fields? Enter the following records into the student's table, right? If I go back to my data sheet key, boom. What's the first one I'm going to put in there? What's that? Yes. Go ahead. Put their age, their grade, their percent grade, their letter grade. Enter all of your records. Okay? Now, it says after that, number three, it says resize the columns for best fit. Go on and do that one. I'm not going to do that one for you. I'm just showing you how to enter the first record. Number four says create a new record at the very end with your first name, your last name, your age, and grade. It says lead off percent letter grade. So at the bottom, you're going to type your name into a, into a field, right? Your last name, your first name, your age, your grade. Now, number five says print the table out in landscape orientation. You all should not do that as well. You're going to print this, you're going to type this information in. Uh, resize the columns for best fit, put your name and a record at the end, and then print the table out in landscape orientation and turn it into a box. You're going to turn it into the B3 box. Right here, B3 box right there. When you have done those things, you are done with today's assignment. This is not a hard assignment. Very easy assignment. Please begin if you have not done so already.